Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, it feels so good to be sitting here filming a sit down video for a change instead of doing vlogs. It feels good, it feels amazing. I'm using my big boy camera today and yeah, it feels, feels good, okay, it feels good. So I'm excited because I have for you guys an assumption video. I went um, I went on Instagram and I asked you guys, as you do, I asked you guys to uh, just send some assumptions that you guys have of me. And uh, let's just say you guys went in, and I love that, I love that for you guys. Like, you guys went in and that's amazing. I didn't want to know basic questions where like, I assume that you do video YouTube videos. Like, yes, I want you guys to go deep, I want you guys to go in, and you guys did, so love that. So, so without this long intro, let's jump right in and um, see what you guys assumed of me. So I have uh, quite a few assumptions uh, that you guys have sent in, so I'm just going to go through them at random and then we're going to talk about it and uh, discuss it further. Right, so the first assumption is you're really short. Um, I wouldn't say really short, I'm five foot four. I am quite short. Um, but I'm not really, really short. I'm five foot four. I mean, some people say it's quite a decent, decent height, but I'd love to be like five six or like five seven. That'd be amazing. But no, I'm five foot four. It's it's short, but it's not that short. I think. <laughs> Next assumption is related to my height. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you. <laughs> You're the shortest of your siblings. Um. Well, my youngest sister, man, is a lot taller than me, as you guys would know. Um, I would say I'm kind of, I think, the same height as my other sister, who's who's actually like 29. So, I don't know. Is she taller than me or am I taller than her? I don't know. But I, I would say I'm kind of like, maybe I'm shortest. I don't know. Okay. Maybe she's like one inch taller than me. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know about that one, actually. <laughs> Moving on, a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys, I repeat, a lot of you guys have sent in that um, apparently you guys assume that I'm pregnant because I've taken some time off YouTube and stuff. No, I am not pregnant. I've actually lost weight, which is fabulous. I've been on it with my Herbalife fat burning tea and honestly, like, I don't know if you guys could see, but... Okay, so this is me standing up and I'm not even sticking my stomach in. Like, I've actually lost my stomach which is fabulous, so, yeah, I am not pregnant, guys, even though a lot of you guys want me to be pregnant, when Allah thinks I'm ready to have a kid, me and adult, then it will happen, so you just kind of have to leave it to God and put your trust in God, but that's it, we're not planning on being pregnant, I am not pregnant, even though I took some time off YouTube, I'm not pregnant, honestly, guys, um, I've actually lost belly fat, which is Love that for me, okay? Love that for me. Thanks to Herbal Life at Burning Tea, love you. you you're amazing. <laughs> right, so the next assumption is you have never lived in with your in-laws. You wouldn't want to either. So um, I've never actually lived in with my in-laws, no. Um, would I want to live in with my in-laws? No, again. And not because I've got anything against them. It's just because I... I've always been independent. I moved out when I was 18. I moved out of my parents' house. So I've always been independent. I've always had my own place, my independence. I did everything by myself. So to live in with someone, even to live in with my parents right now, would be really bizarre because I'm so used to living alone. Like it's been, well, I moved out when I was 18 and I'm 26 now. So it's been nearly 10 years since I've been living by myself and not at home. So for me to go in and live with someone would be really bizarre because I'm used to my own space, how I clean the house. Like, it's, I'm just used to my own space, if that makes sense. So no, I wouldn't want to live in with my in-laws. I wouldn't want to live in with anyone, really. I'm happy with it just being me and adult. Um, so no, I've never lived in with my in-laws, no. <laughs> Next assumption is you want to go to Umrah soon. I would love to go to Umrah. Like, guys, I would love to. I was discussing this with, with adult the other day, actually. I'd love to go, but I mean, like, with someone who suffers with anxiety and like and there's quite a lot of people there as you can imagine if you've been and you suffer with anxiety and like and you're claustrophobic a little bit did you find it hard if so what did you do to overcome it because i'd love to go but i can't let that kind of get in the way i need to just push myself and go but i will definitely be going soon inshallah that's one place i would love to go a hundred percent you feel so much better after it you feel like you're a different person. Like my sister's been not too long ago and she just said it's like literally a life changer. So 
no doubt I would love to go inshallah one day if God wills to go inshallah next assumption is you hate show off you hate show off types yes because I don't like people showing off like people shouldn't show off like you can have nice things you can work hard for the things that you have but there's no use of like showing off and be like look I got this I got this oh by the way I got this new like no you like Enjoy the things that you have, but the whole world doesn't need like the whole world doesn't need to know about what you have. Like enjoy it. Like you enjoy it, embrace it, but don't show off. Like it could be showing off with so many different things, not like materialistic things. Like just showing off with just different things. I just don't like that. I just feel like be you, be true to you, and that's it. Like just be yourself. Don't need to show off and be someone you're not. Do you know what I mean? Like I hate that. And I've always hated it like since school and college. Like I'm just like no, I'm not about that. So you're very correct. So the next assumption is actually a bit of an odd one. You're a happy-go-lucky person. Uh, I wouldn't say that as such, even though that's really nice of you to assume that with me. Um, I would say I'm happy most of the time, alhamdulillah. Like, I have nothing not to be happy about. Uh, but I am not one of those that just wake up in the morning, like, super jolly, loving life, like, just living my best life. Like, no, some days I'm... I'm a miserable git, I'll be honest with you. Like sometimes I wake up and I'm like, literally the bitchiest person. And sometimes I wake up and I'm just happy and I'm jolly and I'm grateful, alhamdulillah. Like one thing I'll always do, like, I'll always like just be grateful for what I have and how I am. Like alhamdulillah, God's given me help. He's given me my health. He's given me a roof over my head. So yeah, I am happy and thankful for that, but I'm not the most jolliest lucky. I'm not lucky as such. Like, no, I'm not lucky at all. I'm not a lucky person, that's for sure. The next assumption is, it's actually by the same person. She wrote, you hate life sometimes. Yes, I feel like everyone does. Like you go through situations in life where you just, you're just mad at things and that's absolutely normal. Like we're all humans, we, we do feel like that. Like even though I'm on YouTube and like people portray us YouTubers as living like such a luxurious lifestyle and we have everything that we want and it's not the case all the time. Like we are normal people behind closed doors, you know, we we have struggles, we have bills to pay, you know, not everything's paid for us. Like, you know, we do have like struggles and stuff and that's absolutely normal, that's part of life, do you know what I mean? And that's kind of what makes life more interesting is going through these struggles, but that's not, that's normal. So um, to answer your question, you hate life sometimes in your, yeah, like I think that's so normal to like wake up and be a bit upset sometimes because let's be real, like, no one wakes up super jolly and like loving life and no i think that's so artificial like no i mean be grateful and be happy try to like try to think positive and be positive but realistically that's just not heard of <laughs> not with me anyways next assumption is very very correct the person said you're a kind person and people mostly take advantage of that a hundred and ten percent I mean, now I have kind of learnt from my mistakes that I've done in the past, uh, but yes, 101% people, like, I feel like people do take advantage of the fact that I'm really kind and, like, sweet and stuff. Yes, I call myself sweet and what? <laughs> yeah, I feel like people do take advantage of that and it sucks. It sucks that people, like, people can be like that. Like, you can see someone who's really nice and genuine, but like, people feel like that they can take advantage of people like that and I hate that. I hate that so much actually and yes i've been um i've been taken advantage of in the past and actually just like n not too long ago something something happened and uh, i'm not going to talk about it because we don't want to we don't want to cause drama but yes something has happened recently and it's just kind of opened my eyes that's why i kind of like I'll be honest with you guys, I kind of leave myself, like, I kind of keep myself to myself in so many different situations. Like, even with, like, blogger events, I, not, I don't go to many blogger events, even though I'm very, very, very lucky because I get invited to so many blogger events, like, all the time in London and here. Like, there's so many events I get invited to, which I'm very thankful for. But I don't go to many and I don't, like... I don't have, like, I don't go out with, like, a lot of my friends and stuff, like, as much as I used to before. Just because... I've been hurt so much in my life that I've kind of taught myself to just depend on myself now. Like, alhamdulillah, like I've got like a small bunch of friends. Uh, I've got my husband, I've got my family, and that's kind of all I need. I know I'm, I know I sound like a, literally like a grandma, and I, I know I'm getting old, but honestly, you'll come to a point. Maybe not now, but you come to, you will come to a point in your life where you'll be like, 
you know i'm quite content with what i have and like what i have around me and like the people i have around me and honestly you won't need anything else and that's kind of where i am at the moment like i'm quite content with what i have alhamdulillah so i don't want to have loads of friends i don't want to be going to all of these like you know like lavish like events and stuff like that like i'm quite content with what i have and what um i hope i've answered that i don't even know if i've answered that but yeah, to, to make it like, story, long story short, yes, I have been taken advantage of and now I've become a lot more stronger, uh, but before, yes, I used to get like walked all over, but you live and you learn, that's what they say. Okay, so the person said, no assumption, I like making that, I don't like making that about a person. So sweet of you. How did you get so confident to be on social media? So actually I get this asked quite a lot, like how do I have the confidence to just film YouTube videos and like interact with random people online? Like honestly, the one thing I could tell you is be yourself, no matter what scenario you're going through or what situation you're in, always, always be yourself. Even if you like start a new job or like you're trying something new, just be yourself just simply be yourself there's going to be there's going to be people out there who just don't like you and that's absolutely fine like i've learned that throughout the years absolutely fine people won't like you they won't agree with with you they won't like the way you wear your clothes or like your style or your makeup or whatever like i've uh, i've learned the hard way but you know in life people are not going to like you people are not going to agree with you and that's absolutely fine you just kind of you just got to move on and just carry on being you and that's one thing I would always say is just always be you and don't be anyone but yourself because end of the day people are going to find out who you are do you know what I mean like you can put, portray yourself as someone and then in the end your true color is going to come out come out baby girl so uh, stay true to you I am referring back to myself when I first started YouTube if people didn't like my videos or dislike my video I used to think I used to like doubt myself and now I'm just like that's cool you're going to get people who like you you're going to people who dislike you end of the day you just carry on being you and do the things that you want to do. I mean, obviously, like, I ask you guys all the time, like, what videos you guys want to see, like, what do you guys enjoy watching and stuff like that. That's only just to help me out with my videos. But you should do what you enjoy. So if you enjoy, like, taking pictures of, like, food or, like, makeup or whatever, just do it. Just just do it. And to be confident, I'll just just kind of don't really read, don't read the hate comments. Just Okay, so the next assumption is why are you always making weird faces with your lips pouting because your girl has no lips okay she's got no lips she's got tiny lips thanks to my mom mom if you're watching this love you but i've got no lips you know so i need stuff like this so i've got the fenty beauty lip gloss on this is in shade fenty glow and it's amazing because it gives me some sort of lips like it makes my lips look a bit bigger so if i'm taking a picture or a video i'm gonna pout a little bit because look she needs a little bit so that's why. So the next assumption, <laughs> this is so funny. The next assumption is you don't cook Asian dishes for your husband like biryani. So I don't know where you got that assumption from baby girl, but I do cook Asian dishes for my husband from time to time. We're actually making curry today, so yes. Um, yeah, so um, I do cook Asian food from time to time, but my husband's like not a massive Asian food fan anyways. He enjoys different things. And we cook things that we both like. So if we fancy a curry, like a curry night, which is today's our curry night, we'll have a curry. If one day we fancy something else, we'll have something else. It doesn't have to be always Asian food, like every single day. And my husband doesn't want that anyway. So it's cool, it works. It works well for both of us. I feel like a lot of people assume just because I'm married to an Asian person, I need to cook Asian food for my husband all the time. And no, it's not the case at all, like at all. He's the most least Asian person you can meet. Like he he actually doesn't really enjoy all the Asian dishes. I mean, I'd love to cook biryani, don't get me wrong, but I just don't know how to cook biryani and it's so long and complicated. I'd rather just buy it outright or like just eat at my, my mother-in-law's house because she makes the best biryani literally ever. So when she cooks biryani, I mean, it's cool. Like, I'll just go down to her house and, and my husband will eat there too, so love that. <laughs> Next assumption is you eat a lot of junk food. Like, that is very, very incorrect. I do not eat a lot of junk food whatsoever. I'm like, people call me like a health freak or a diet freak or whatever. I, I am very concerned about my weight because 
I'm very cautious about my weight because growing up I used to be chubby um, back in secondary school and I used, to get, I used to get bullied for it and everything so um, there's a lot to it so of course I have body issues so now like I'm very cautious with what I eat like if so we'll have like maybe like a takeaway um, what, maybe once a week or maybe twice a week and that's pushing it but generally speaking no I do not eat a lot of junk I can guarantee you that that's for sure <laughs> I think I'm going to ask the last two assumptions and then leave it there because this video is getting so long. So the last, um, so the next assumption is you are more career focused than wanting a family and doing both. So yes, to answer that assumption, yes, we are very career focused. Me and Adol, like we, we just enjoy working. We enjoy working hard, especially I guess on my side, I'm very more career focused because I have to make my own living. So I have to work hard and do different things to earn a living because I'm self-employed whereas with my husband he goes um he has a normal nine-to-five job so he knows a, a kind of in the end of the month he will get paid whereas for me because I'm self-employed I have to adventure out and do different things to work hard to earn a living if that makes sense so yes I am very career focused and I feel like since we have like turned 25 me and adult like We've changed. Um, like when we were younger, when we got when we first got married, we were like really young and vulnerable, and like I feel like we used to kind of just mess about and do whatever. We didn't. We weren't really career focused as such. But now, since we turned twenty five, I feel like you get really old and you get like, oh my god, I'm twenty five now. So yeah, you do focus on your career like a lot more. So yeah, I would answer that, and I'd be like, yes, that's very correct. We are career focused, but it doesn't mean that. While, while like focusing so much on our like uh, work life that we don't want kids of course we want kids like if when god blesses us we will have kids inshallah and of course i'm leaving it down to allah because we can plan but allah is the best planner so of course i'll leave it down to god and uh, yeah inshallah but that is to answer the question i guess i'm going to ask one more next assumption is i don't know if this is an assumption as such but you will come this vacate you will come this vacation to dubai right inshallah waiting bless you bless you bless you i would love to come to dubai i miss dubai so much like i can't even tell you how much i miss it i love dubai dubai is like home to me like it's just i used to live there when i was younger so i love dubai and i do want to come back to dubai so much i love everything there i love the shopping i love just the environment and just it's just so beautiful so yes i do want to come back to dubai but i won't be coming I think vacation you mean this summer no i'm not coming to dubai this summer uh just literally have no time whatsoever especially when you start a new business you just have to invest so much into it that you literally have no time to do anything else so we were discussing about we were thinking of going on holiday this summer but we might leave it to next year I don't know it's all in the talks so i let you guys know when what we've made a decision but nothing as such because obviously like i mentioned i just started a new business so i'm focusing on that really so yeah guys that is the end of the assumptions i hope you guys enjoyed this video i've really enjoyed answering you lots of questions because you guys went in and i love that for you guys because you know i like it juicy i like it deep you know i don't like simple questions i want you guys to go in and you guys did so thank you so much for sending in your questions if you guys want to be featured in my next assumption uh, video then send in your questions down below um and yeah that's it guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did don't forget to smash that thumbs up and please press the notification button guys because youtube has done this thing where if you don't press the notification buttons you guys won't see my videos which makes me so sad so please 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 go down and press the notification button so you can be alerted when i post my videos and yeah i guess that's it i shall see you guys really soon in my next video bye